Hello there. Uh, in this video, we're going to start working with local storage, specifically SQLite. Uh, in our little app that we're going to build today, we're just going to make a little to-do list. Uh, and our to-do list is going to use SQLite storage to, uh, to handle all of its data management. Now, uh, I've just started with a basic project as usual. There is one thing I need to add to pubspec.yaml to get started, which is we actually need the dependency of SQLite. Uh, is that right? I think so. Uh, SQF light, sorry. SQF light. Yes. Pub get. Okay. Now, uh, as usual, we're gonna. Yeah, we already, we already did that. That should be fine. We'll clear up this a little bit. We don't need most of this stuff. Uh, our demo today is our SQ light demo. SQLite demo homepage. Uh, clear up the stuff. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Clear up the body. Clear up the floating action button. And start with our very stripped down uh, app. Okie dokie. Um, I guess before we begin, we're making a little to-do list, so probably a good way to start is by having a class to represent to-do lists. So we're gonna make one, and it's called to-do. Our to-do class is going to be fairly simple. It's a class called to-do. Uh, we're going to have an ID number to uniquely identify our to-do, and we're going to have the thing that we actually wanna do, which is going to be an item. Uh, for our constructor, we're going to need this dot item uh, I suppose we should do this dot ID as well I don't have it in my example but eh, it's probably good to have right uh, and we're going to um, have a couple of methods in here the first one is going to be to do dot from map uh, and this is going to take a map, map uh, and going to take it's the ID of this thing and map the ID and take the item from the maps item. So if we have a map, we can generate a to do. And similarly, if we have a to do, let's generate a map. Uh, importantly, these types here, uh, string and object, need to be specified or your to map method is not going to work. Uh, and this is just going to return our map. Our map is going to take the ID and give us this dot ID. And our item give us this dot ID. Uh, and I promise this is real. Uh, finally, just so that we can see what this looks like, we'll have it to string. And we'll return to do id is id, string is string. Uh, sorry, string is item. Item is item. Uh, mixing up words, they're hard. <laughs> okay, uh, yes. There we go. All right, all done. Here is our, our to do item. And now what we're going to need to do is set up a little database that's going to actually hold on to all of these to-dos that we have in our list. Um, I'm trying to think of what should be the best place to start. Maybe let's start with our UI on our main and then we can handle the model and the database and all that stuff after. So let's do just that. Um, let's start off with um, a few things in our state here. There are a couple of variables we'll add later, but we definitely want to have a variable to keep track of the last inserted um, ID number, which is gonna start out as zero, and we can increment this over time. And we're also going to have a to-do item uh, in case you wanna generate one, for instance. So those are there. Um, let's see here. We're, I think, going to, let's just put back in our floating action button. Uh, and our floating action button 
is going to call a function um, add to do when we get that function working. Uh, we'll give it a tool tip. Uh, actually, we don't need a tool tip. Um, we do need an icon. So the child for this will be icon icons .add. And we'll make a, um, a function to define later, which is going to add a to do item to our database. Now, because working with databases can take time, we're again going to make this an asynchronous function. Later, we'll you know define the behavior for it. But the goal here is we're going to write make up a little um, make up a little uh, page here so we can click on some stuff so that we can actually add stuff to our to do list. Now, I think the way that we're going to start out with this is we're going to have in our body center on the page. Um, we're going to have a column. There's going to be a bunch of stuff in our column. Uh, let's align it nicely. And in our column, the first thing we'll have is a text field, uh, not text form field, just a text field. This is where somebody can put in the thing that they're going to put as a to-do list. So, um, When we change the text field and it has a value in the text field, we're going to make our to do item be that value. So uh, let's uh, compile this, I think, huh? I uh, cannot see that because that is so small. So we probably need a style. Text style. Uh, Font size thirty. Make it a little bigger, huh? This is my to-do item, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna set this up so that when I click on the little button here, it's gonna add to my to-do list. That's the goal, at least. Um, there's a few other buttons that we can add later, but for now, let's just see if we can actually um, can actually put these here. Um, anything else I want to do just yet? Well, let's have our, let's do a couple things in here. Um, first off, we're going to make a to do. And the item is going to be our to do item. Uh, and this is mad because I haven't imported my to do yet. So I'll do that. There we go. Uh, and we'll print to do inserted last inserted ID. Um, and I think we should, uh, no, do we need to set the ID here or is it not a problem? Hmm. I think that we can leave it for now and we'll, if we need to fix stuff later, we can change it. I want to get at least the bare functionality working first and then we can worry about other stuff after. Uh, so the next thing that we're going to need to do is set up our database. So we're going to have a new Dart file here and we're going to call it db underscore utils. And this is going to be where we just set up our SQF light stuff. So import SQ, uh, we'll import, hold on. so we need path because we need to actually save a file and we need SQ, is this, did it not load? I feel like it should uh, it should have this package sq uh, it seems to have not gone through let me check my pub spec do a pub get should have uh it should have given me what i was looking for okay what if i type the whole thing in is it not gonna know this is here Oh, I have this. Oh, wait, no, this, this seems to be fine. Okay. Well, it says it's here, so I don't know why I didn't autocomplete, but it exists. All right, class is going to call dbutils. This is where we're going to have all of our database stuff working. Um, we're going to have just one function here that's a static future in it. 
and it just initializes our database, and that's the only thing that's going to be in this, this code. Uh, so we're going to make a database, which is an open database. Um, and in here, we're going to have path.join await get databases path, yes, comma, to do manager.db. Um, hold up, doesn't know path. Well, that's not promised. Oh, yeah, sorry, this should be as path, that's why. I'm going to alias path so that we can get this working correctly to uh, put our DB file where we need it to be, um, get the path to the databases, when we create our database, um, given the database and the version number, um, we are going to do db.execute. Uh, and here we need to execute. This is where our, an actual SQL command goes. So the SQL command that we want to do here is create a table um, called to do items. Uh, and the things that will go in here are um, integer primary key ID and an item, which is text. And our version number is one. And if this worked correctly, then we can print that it did. Created database, database. And all is well and good. Now, we need to initialize this database. And I think the place that we're going to do it is going to be in our to-do model. So we're going to make a file for that called to do model. All right, we need from this, uh, it's already very angry that I haven't, I haven't written any code yet. Why is this so mad? Very strange. All right, well, we need um, to do dot dart. Okay, there we go. Yeah, to do dot dart. We need um, sqf light again. And just copy it, I guess, from here. We need async. This is going to be asynchronous. And we need to do, oh no, we have to do. We need um, dbutils, not dart. Uh, you could import like all the material and everything in here, but it's kind of unnecessary, so I'm not going to really bother. Um, now, what I do want to do is have a class called to do model, and this is going to be the class that handles all of my actual data management. Uh, and in order to have this um, work, what I want to do is, um, is make a database dbutils.init. Um, oh, sorry, I need a, I need an init function for this, <laughs> or sorry, a function. And the function that we're going to do is we're going to do insert because insert's kind of what we need to get anything going. Um, insert to do, which is going to take a to do asynchronous. Uh, we're going to eventually, um, return the result of inserting into our database. And what we're going to insert is um, into the table called to do items, because that's what we called it. Uh, we're going to take to do and we're going to make it into a map because you need to push a map into your database, not just an object here. Uh, and if there is a conflict for some reason, then we will do conflict album dot replace. Okay, so this should be enough to um, put something into my database. Now the question is, can I show it? Uh, that's a very good question. I think what I want to do 
is I'm going to actually add one more button to my main page so that I can read every to do that I've made in my database. So uh, let's do the, the stuff in the model here first, and then I'll go do the interface after that. Just you know, switching things up, I suppose. Um, what I want to do is make a function that will get these to do's so I can see them. So get all to do's asynchronously. Uh, so I'm going to get my database, dbutils.init. I'm going to get a list of maps, which is me querying my database. To do items is the name of the database. Our result, uh, sorry, list result equals zero elements. Okay, so uh, now we just need to go through everything in our database and put it in this list and then we can print out the list. So if the maps uh, exists, so the length is greater than zero, then for i is zero, i less than maps dot length, i plus plus, if you, uh, if you don't have the check here, um, you might have a null error when you try to do the query and then it does maps.length, maps doesn't exist, so you can't get the length and th weird things happen. I don't think, it, it may not be necessary to have this if statement, you may be able to get rid of it, but just for the sake of security, I'll leave it in. Uh, and we're gonna just add to our list of results. Um, we're gonna, from map, maps i. So that's the reason we wrote the functions earlier to create a to-do from a map as well as to make a map from a to-do because databases are gonna operate on maps, uh, but we wanna use the actual objects that we created it as part of our app. So now we have all our results, we can just return them. Okay, this function gets all of our to-dos in our to-do list. Let's go back to our main function and get a button that will print it out for us. Uh, and I think I'll put that underneath my text field here. Um, we're just going to have a, um, a elevated button. Elevated button. It's going to have some text that says um, read and we'll put the style in there. And when you press the button, it will call read to do's, which is a function we have to write. So let's do that. Uh, read to do's. Read to do's is a function that is going to run the, go through the model, get what we need, and then print it all out. So our to do's list is going to get from our model. Oh, we need to, I suppose we should have a model first actually, huh? Um, we haven't set up our interface to actually uh, interact with our model yet. So we need to set some things up to do that. First off, we need to initialize a model. To do model. So now we have our, uh, our model of our data we need to make sure that in our add function, last inserted ID is await model.insert to do. Uh, I guess this is the way that we're gonna update our, um, what we've inserted every time we insert something. Okay, so now we add things into our database when we click the button. Let's get something so we can read stuff from the database and then we at least have a start of a system. And then later we can worry about deleting stuff, updating stuff and so on. But you know, first let's get the bare minimum we need to actually have this function, which means we need a list of to-dos, which is going to require us to run that function we wrote in the other, pro in the other um, file. So we get all of our to-dos. Now we'll print out a new line and we're gonna print out our to-dos. And for each one, I'm 
print it out. Okay, let's try this out. So, um, go to the bank. Let's add that. Go to the laundry. <laughs> and eat. Uh, oh, it looks like there are some errors here, so that's not a great sign. And I imagine that when I hit read, oh, that's a lot of errors. Okay, let's figure out what we did wrong. Let me start from the beginning. Say I want to add something. Oh, that's a lot of errors already. Oh, well, not errors, I suppose, just warnings. Yeah, so go to the store. Okay, and I hit go. So what is the error that I have from this? Hmm. It's uh, just my luck that this didn't quite work right away. I think it's over here. Missing plugin exception, no implementation found for git databases path on channel sqf light. Well, that's not very good. What, pray tell, could be the problem? What we're going to have to do is do a little bit of digging to figure out why there is an error here. Let's start by looking at this. Do I have any mistakes here? I don't think so. This is mostly code that I have from before. Um, where everything should be correct here. Now I know it didn't, I don't think it printed um, created database, which is probably not a good sign because uh, we should really be doing an init. Um, hmm, okay. How about our model here? In our model, we have some asynchronous functions do an insert I have a nasty feeling that this is another case of um, of something has updated since the last time I ran this and now everything is exploding uh, so we're gonna we're gonna have to see if we can figure out exactly what the problem is here so notably it's um it definitely messes up when uh, when I'm trying to put something what if I try to just read is it the same error it looks like it. Yeah, no implementation found for method get databases path on this. Let's see if this is uh, something that can lead us to a solution, huh? Any uh, any suggestions, Google? <laughs> um, am I missing a... Uh, mm, newly added dependencies, in which case I just had to do a clean. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> this solves several people's problems. Okay, I suppose we can give it a shot. <laughs> Flutter clean. <laughs> Try it again. Uh, so I guess we have to get depend. Um, pub get has not been run. I suppose we need to do that. Get dependencies. Try again. to do. Okay, that does not seem to have solved my problem. Um, some people have tried adding an SQF Lite plugin. Um, Hmm, let's see if I can find a better source for this. Uh, missing plugin exception. Is that what it says? Missing plugin? Ex it does say missing plugin exception. All right. What's the deal? It just says run clean and then rerun the project. But hmm, I wonder if there is something that has to do with the. Um, the way in which my files are structured that's causing things to like go kind of kaput it's possible hmm hmm 
Um, clearly I'm not the only person who has this problem. Um, it has some, okay, it looks like it has something to do with, um, with the plugin. Flutter clean, Flutter pub get. I guess I can try that, although that's what I did, right? So it should have handled that correctly. Flutter pub get. Run. Okay, you know what? Um, here, this might be a thing, is I've noticed this has happened before as well. Sometimes just because it was running, it didn't actually update everything properly like it should have. So I'm actually gonna close the main.dart and try running it again. This is, a, this is something I've learned from experience is sometimes this ends up solving it. So we're gonna, we're gonna see if that's, um, if that's what the deal is. Could be, I don't know for sure. We're, uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna find out together, aren't we? <laughs> Okay. Ah, go to the store. Okay, no luck. Wait, what? Oh, it's a different error. Null check operator used on a null value. Where are we at? Here. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. So, um... Why is this happening the way it is? Uh, this is something to do with... Hmm. It's a very strange problem. Null check operator used on a null value. Oh, you know what it is? It's, um, I think it's this, is I missed actually a question mark here. There we go, there we go. So I need to mention that it's possible for this to be null so that it actually will take this in because I think sometimes there will be a case where um, it should be null. Okay, let's give that another shot. Go to the store, go. Uh, again. The method insert was called on null. It's... <laughs> okay, so I think this was a case of, do I have my um, to-do items, to-do items, to-do items? No, this is a case of something is mismatched here and I have to figure out what it is. Um, create table to do items with the primary key and text. So it created the database. Um, then after creating the database, This should have um, where where is this should have waited for that, and that way when I call db dot insert, this should happen after. Hmm. 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 Because what it seems like has happened here is this was null but it should have waited because it says here to wait for init to finish. Why is it not waiting when it should? Hmm. Hmm. I wonder if I'm missing something. Let me see. Tricky, tricky problems. So I add to do. Hmm. 
make an item. I wait for this, and then it should do to do inserted, but it didn't because it hit a problem inside of insert to do, which is here. And this is where the problem is, is that this shouldn't have went, but it did. Method in service call, no. Hmm. Tricky, tricky problem. This is asynchronous, yeah. Maybe I was too fast? I mean, it shouldn't be the case though. It should not matter. I don't suppose the read works correctly. Yeah, so query is called on null. Because once again, it doesn't seem like it's actually waiting. It's supposed to await dbutils.init to finish. But this is finishing before it's supposed to. Um, hmm, 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 hmm. I have this like nasty feeling I'm fritting something very silly, but. I wonder if, if this is a problem. It shouldn't be. Path.join. Get databases path, yeah. Call it to do manager.db. I wonder if is that visible in here? Probably not. Okay, never mind. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Tricky, tricky problems. This, shouldn't this have a return? This should return something, right? I think. Maybe. Oh my goodness, that's what it is, is I just missed a return statement. Return database. <laughs> so much time for such a simple problem. Okay, let's give this a shot. Go to the store. Push. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, welcome to programming, everybody. Okay. Go to the store. Go to the bank. Look at that. It's the second to do that I've inserted. Um, go shopping just for fun. Now read it back to me. To do item one go to the store. Go to the bank, go shopping. Let's fix that to do uh, to string because I forgot a bracket. Okay, no progress. Feels good to make progress, right? Plus it's a thing that I won't have to worry about during the lecture because um, I resolved it now after taking, uh, I don't know how long, a little too long. <laughs> okay, uh, let's, let's push forward now. We got stuff working again because I was smart enough to realize you should return the database when you make one. Now, um, Let's move forward and see if we can wrap up with a few extra things we haven't done yet. So right now we can put in something in the to-do list and we can get them all back. 
but let's add some actual functionality so we can do more than just insert and get everything because that's kind of a very basic way to, to look at stuff. So um, I think the way we're gonna do this is we're actually just going to copy um, insert a couple times and we're gonna make it uh, update and delete. Uh, I guess we'll do, we'll do one copy first and then we'll make this, um, this will be update, update to do. Get our database and we're going to update. And we're going to uh, have these parameters. Um, and instead of this conflict algorithm, because that's not a problem, we're going to do where um, ID equals question mark. And the argument for that will be to do the ID. Um, Okay, so this should do an update. Now let's make sure we can actually do the update. Uh, in our main, let's get another button so we can update. Uh, and I think the way that we're going to do it is, whoop, in our main, so we have a button for read. Let's do another button for update. And this will run update to do's and we'll make set a function update to do's. Yes, I know it's not there yet. Uh, and it's going to look a lot like this one, except it's called update to do's. And it is going to make our to do item. It's going to um, set its ID to be the last inserted ID. Because that's the one that we um, just put in. And we're going to update that. So uh, model update to do. Uh, okay, and I think that's good enough. So let's try that out. Go, go to the mall, push. Uh, oh yes, that's right. If I actually read this out, <laughs> you'll note it has everything from the last time I ran this too. Uh, so we're gonna need to get a delete at some point, but let's say I wanna update, go to the mall, go to the supermarket and I hit update. Uh, did that work? Did that cause an error? I'm in the wrong spot of the output to see. Uh, it looks like it worked. Let's try to read them out. And look at that. Go to the mall has been replaced by go to the supermarket. You can change the, um, you can change updating by just assessing, uh, setting to be the ID to be a different ID, whatever one you're actually looking for. Um, so for that, I think we're going to probably want to get another method that will actually retrieve a specific to do item so that we can update that. Um, but, um, Let's uh, let's next move on to deleting because right now we have like everything in here and that's not great. So uh, the method for that I think will be very simple, at least in here. Um, but let's start doing the model one first. So in our model, we're going to do a delete. Our delete's going to look just like an update, except it's going to be delete. Delete to do. Uh, and to do so, we don't want an object, we actually just want the ID. So with ID, so we're gonna have an int ID. Um, and we're going to delete from the items where the ID is the ID. Not too much to it. Um, in our main, just gonna have a, whoops, did not wanna do that void delete to do and we'll just call model dot delete to do with ID and we'll use the last one uh, and so that we can actually do this let's make a button for it uh, we'll put it after update delete which will delete to do's We, uh, if 
we read them out, we still got go to the store, go to the bank, go shopping, go to the supermarket, say you want to delete one, delete. And we read them back. Well, it didn't seem to work, so that's not good. <laughs> um, hmm. Did not seem to do what I wanted. What am I missing here? Um, in my main, delete to do with ID in the last started inserted ID. Yeah, that sounds right. Maybe it's in my uh, my model. Is this code wrong? Let's see here. I get my database. I delete from to to do items where the ID is the ID. Hmm. Hmm. Well, that doesn't sound quite right that it should be failing. So now what's wrong with it? Uh, so you know what I think the issue is? Is I think um, it's possible that the last inserted ID that it's trying to delete is not actually the one that I want it to do. So what I might need to do for that um hmm you know let's uh let's let's let me see because if I were to add something I think what's going to happen is it's going to show that there's a new value so go to the um, library so to do inserted is five if I read them all out I got one two three four five if I hit delete oh that, there seems to work hmm so why isn't it deleting the uh oh maybe it only deletes the most recent one and it and because I don't um I need to update the last inserted ID to be one fewer. Let's try this. So I got one, two, three, four. Let's say I insert something. Um, you know, uh, go uh, out for a party. Why not? So if I read everything out, I got one, two, three, four, five, go to the party and so on. Um, if I delete, now going to a party is gone. I don't know why it keeps uh, giving me this like annoying app time stats stuff. I don't care. Uh, if I delete again, now the next one is gone. If I delete again, now the next one is gone, and so on. So we've got what we're looking for here. Um, I guess you have to be somewhat careful that the last inserted ID is actually initialized to the right value. Um, it defaults to zero, but that may not actually be what you want it to default to. Uh, it's possible you want this value to actually be something else. Um, so that's something you have to be a little careful about. Um, but, you know, the, how you get your app to work is a little bit up to you, right? Uh, is there anything else I want to add at this point? I think I'm kind of happy with what we got here. Um, you can do a, you can probably figure out, I imagine, how to get a, um, how to get a single to do instead of getting all of them. Essentially, it's just um, db dot query instead of db dot delete uh, if you want to get something, and then that will give you a map, and then from the map you can uh, generate your to do, like we've seen before with um, with get all to dos. Um, but I think I'm okay with everything we've done here. This seems like a good place to, to stop and say, you know what, this is um, at least the basics that you need for things to work. Uh, I've made plenty of mistakes along the way that you got to watch for fun. Um, this file is something that you can use kind of generally. Obviously the table that you create, the, the data that you're storing is probably gonna vary based on how you use your app, but the code in here is at least essential so that you can get a database up and running. Um, this is just my class that actually represents what the data is. Here we have the, um, I don't know if this is really the to-do model, this is technically more of a controller because it's all the commands that actually modify everything. Um, maybe it's more accurate to say this is the model and then this is the controller that modifies things, but you know, semantics I suppose. 
Uh, and then all we have here is just our little text field where we can add stuff, update, delete, read, and so on. So that's all for this video, uh, and I will uh, see you guys in class. Take care and uh, stay safe.